Hey there, YouTubers and Lutubers. I have a video today for you. You can call it the Vintage Corner if you like. So let's get ready <laughs> if I need it. So a friend of me asked me about my Old Spice mugs and I, and I have some here. So let's see. This is Ship Recorder Salem 1794. And then Ship Ground Turk Salem 1786 on that side. And uh, I have some uh, palm olive in there. And as far as I can see, there is no cracks or anything. I don't know if you can pick it up. And uh, if you uh, buy one of these, and you, I don't know, I made this video before. But if you buy one of these and you don't have a lid, you can have one 3D printed. Or you can do it like me. You go to your local grocery store, if you have this there. They sell here in Norway this one. Unique. It's a brand, a smart choice, and it's uh, a lid for your liver patty. If you buy in Norway, we have a liver patty, it looks like so. There, and when you open it, you just do this one, and then you take it out. And then you can put the, the lid over. I have the one here. I like so. Uh, let's see if these new ones. So it's, uh, these are produced in Norway though, uh, for the Norway group. Says so there. So there, they are like that. Let's see if this uh, I bought today will fit my Old Spice mugs. I don't know if they changed them. But I bought before, and there you go, and it fits over here, snug. That's how you do it when you're using the liver patty. You just use this to, when you take off the, when you open. So there, this is the new one, and here's my old spice, and uh, let's see, it might be a little bit tight. Just, let's see if I can get it on. Uh, now it's a little bit tart because they're fresh, but it fits. So you can do that. Or you can have them 3D printed. I know people who does that. I don't know if it gets a little bit bander. But uh, I had this for quite a while and it opened and and I closed many times. So it is a little bit tight, I think, for the first time. As far as I can see, there is no there is no damage there. So that's a tip. So, so that's what I use for mine. The ones that don't come with the lid. So this is the one I have. And this is, uh, let's see. <coughs> I'll we'll buy a shoot from the sass on there. And I have more. I also have this one. Chip Grand Turk Salem. And then uh, it has a little bit thing there, if you can see it. I know there, there, but it's uh, it's not cheap. Maybe it's manufacturing or something like that. I don't know. And you can see, I have in here a yeti is not soap, and that's how it looks like. So it works well. I find. 
that's the Grand, Grand Turk Salem, yeah. <coughs> I love this old spice. Well, here you have a newer one, old spice. Doesn't have any of the ship names, just old spice. And it has the original lid, which is plastic too, in a way. Maybe a little bit harder. But it also has the old spice there. And uh, what is uh, this? I don't know, sundial or or something like that, nautical. And in there, are my homemade chocolate scented melt and pour soap. Melt and pour soap. Chocolate scented. Ooh. <laughs> but this one is uh, Old Spice. Let's see. Made in Belgium. And as far as I can see, there is no cracks or anything. The, this one I really like because it just has the, the Old Spice logo. Really nice, crisp and clear. And the ships. Made in Belgium. So I bought, actually I bought this one in Norway. The other here, I, the other two here, I got from eBay. Bought some years ago. After I saw Geofat Boy use them. I also have <laughs> an Old Spice shave stick here. And you might have seen it before. Very nice. Mmm, smells really good. And my last one, this one is a little bit harder to get a lid because it's too big. You can't put it over like this, of course, so the sense doesn't come out. And uh, if you have them standing in the bathroom, it doesn't smell all over the place. <laughs> this is the older one, my oldest one. I got from, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, Grandpa's Razors, I think he had one at the store on Etsy. I think he sent me this one. It's faded and it's a chip friendship. But I don't care if it's faded, you still see it, and it's beautiful. A little bit uh, there too, a little bit color variation, maybe you can see there. And probably, probably here too. Um, early American Old Spice, Schulten Inc. Clifton, New Jersey. I don't know if it picks it up. Let's see, I have a, there. So, just using a, <laughs> a little bit uh, light, I bought. See if it helps my camera, because it flickers sometimes from dark to dark and black. I don't know why. That's that, and in there I have some uh, unobtainium, uh, Clars, uh, Cabinet, uh, Rose. So that's uh, my old spice collection. Of course, uh, I now have the, some uh, extra with the tabak too, you might have seen. Cheers. I'm drinking some Sweden. Ramlesa with the palm grenade is it? It's called the granatapple in Nor in here in Norway. Or pro probably Sweden too, I don't know. <laughs> so that's my collection. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I really dig uh, this one, but also like the, the old one from America. And you have the names of the ships. 
so every collector should have a Old Spice mug. So that's what I, I use for lids. I haven't gotten 3D printed. I don't have a 3D printer. And uh, I can go to the library in Norway and uh, print it out, but it takes a long time and I don't have time for that either now. So, cheers! And uh, may you have a nice weekend. And uh, we can reach 200 subscribers now, so thank you, thank you, thank you. I uh, much appreciate it. Uh, that I uh, really am happy for and I'm grateful for so we can grow this channel and make it even better. That's my hope and plans. So if you have any ideas or anything, you just let me know and comment below. Thank you for watching everybody. May you all have solid shaves. Uh, more, uh, blah, 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 blah.